Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to cover how to run duck and set the duck so it has eccentric fittings and it's justified to one side. We can also adjust it after the fact. Now let's take a look. First of all we'll run duck that's going to run along let's say a wall and we need it to line up tight or needs to be under a ceiling. Uh, we'll go up top, we'll start the duck command. Once we fire up duck we come in here and before we start putting the duck down you'll notice we have horizontal justification and we also have vertical justification. So you can set this ahead of time. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to say I'm going to be left justified and I pick a point in space. Let's go ahead and we start to draw. You'll notice how it's running along that edge. Now I pick a point and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make it wider now. So we'll go let's say 20 and we continue on up. Now notice that it's keeping that same line even though the duct is getting larger as we move up. So heading on up and there we go. So that's how you would draw it in. As you can see that's uh, pretty straightforward. Now once it's in if you want to align the edges you can't really use the align command but we're going to use a tool called justify. Now if you select a single piece of duct, I'm going to 3D view now, you select a single piece of duct, you'll see the justify button comes up. Just ignore it. I know that sounds crazy. The trick is pick the pieces of duct that you want to align. So I'm going to grab one, hold the control key down, two, and I'm going to hold the control key down and go three. Now actually before we do this, let's take this little guy and we're going to make him um, different in all directions. So we'll make him even smaller. We'll go six by six. Just so you can see how all this works. That's crazy. Let's go the other way. Okay. So that's itty bitty. All right, so now it's reducing in all different ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to select one piece, hold the control key down, select another piece, and then select another piece. We're not going to worry about the joints or the connections. And then at this point, we've got the three pieces of duct that we want to align. So we're going to start the justify command. Now when the justify command fires up, you'll see we have some different options here. Now you'll notice that it says control point. Now when I pick this, it's going to cycle through all the different ducts start and end. See it's cycling through them all? Okay. So at one point we decide where we want it to be. So let's say I'm going to use the middle duct. Okay, middle duct, and I'm going to say how about top left? Let's go this way so since we are in the opposite direction. And you can see how it's setting up in that location. Now once it's in that location, you hit finish. And the duct, now it might may bomb over here, but watch what happens. It actually makes it all fit. So that's how we, uh, we make it work. And uh, so notice it's all aligned. Now I'm going to spin this thing around. I'm going to grab this shift middle mouse button. And you'll notice that since we used the top edge, see how it even brought it up and made it match. So that's uh, an easy way to use the justify command. Now the justify command does have some other features in it that you can try to use. Um, but I'm not a, never used them often. When I fire up justify, you'll notice there is an alignment tool. Now you have to be in thin line to actually see it. And you come over here, I'm actually go to a wireframe. Well, you can see how we have these different edges that we can kind of pick to align to. So the alignment tool gives you these. So let's go ahead and hit escape. Let's go set it to, um, let's get out the command. All right, now I'm gonna set it to wireframe. Again, I don't use this one often. Um, just wanted to show it. So now at this point I grab one, hold the control key down, grab two. So we've got two pieces highlighted. You can see it over on the other screen. Now what we'll do is we'll go up top and hit justify. Now when we hit alignment, you'll start to see the line work out there. And I can start to pick the line and you'll see the little um, graphic jumps. Notice it's jumping. So we can use the alignment command and you can kind of pick the line. You see how they're, they're, you got middle, left, top, right. You have the same markers. It's just a, a different way of going about the same thing. So it's up to you on how you want to use that. Um, the previous is easy enough to do, so I just use it. So I hope you enjoyed Tip of the Week. If you have any questions, uh, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com.